This segment brought to you by Gamo, the leader in adult precision air guns. We're at the Y.O. Ranch in Texas, and Hunting University co-host Dirt King is heading out to try his luck with the Axis herd. So far, three great bucks have been taken on this trip, and after seeing them, Dirt is anxious to see one more, his own. Man, I was bouncing off the walls ready to go because anytime you get in a situation where you're going to have an opportunity to see this quality of animal, man, you got to love this game, and if you don't, get you a bad mitten racket. Dirt was so pumped that he hammered the night away on the Y.O.'s vintage piano, which is much older than he is, and then kept his crew up even later, singing some of their favorite tunes on the keyboard. Let me tell you a little something about old Dirt King. He is by far one of the most entertaining people that I have an opportunity to work with. We stayed up later than my bedtime, well into the, into the morning with Dirt entertaining us all with some unbelievable music. And so the next morning, it was a little tough getting up at the, uh, the crack of dawn. I'm not really good about getting up. Sometimes they have to kind of rouse me out, but we did get up this morning before daylight. Today, we have Dirt and Jimmy Dreiss and our two cameramen, LJ and Alan, heading out after the Axis herd. I've hunted the Y.O. several times. Been there with a lot of people, seen a lot of magnificent animals. 44,000 acres is a great big patch. Which means that when you're trying to get around out here, it can take you a very long time, especially when you're looking for that big Y.O. axis buck. So we started at 9 o'clock thereabouts, and well, Jimmy's the first one that saw him. Matter of fact, we were looking at another one, which I thought was humongous. But Jimmy said, no, 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 it's not that one, not that one, not that one. The only thing we could see was one horn. And when I saw that one horn, I knew which one Jimmy was talking about because the mass was two and a half times anything else we'd ever seen. Now, Jimmy and Dirk came up with a plan to use the terrain to their advantage and stay low and go slow. Left the one cameraman on the big tripod all the way back behind us. We just kept sneaking, single file, crawling, behind tree, next tree, down in a little ditch, up behind the next bunch of trees. We moved short distances, 20 yards at a time. We'd pick a point and crawl to that point. We made that last little distance, and I think there was a little bit of tension when we kind of eased up to make sure that, that he was still there. When I finally got the camera on him and saw how big it was, my heart stopped because I knew that we had the chance to kill an absolute giant. So with the distance now cut down to 220 yards, the waiting game begins. Dirt can't move forward anymore, and staying on these sticks for an extended length of time is taking its toll. But the extra time is also giving Dirt a chance to get his plan together. There was only going to be one possibility. That was I had a Y between two trees. So on 24 power, I watched the animal enough that I actually understood the dot patterns on his sides. Dirt has picked one of these dots to focus on. And once the deer steps up, that's where we will deliver the GMX. As a cameraman and, and ex-military sniper, the shooting aspect of it is a big part for me. He spent two hours on that stick, picked a dot on that deer and put it between that V in the tree. When he turned, made that one fatal stop, gave me the target right in the center, launched that GMX Hornady, the rest is right here. We had been looking at it for two hours, but through a scope, through binoculars, through a camera lens, when we saw it on the ground, it was bigger than what I think we all thought it was going to be. And Dirt, when he says he don't care about the score, he don't care about the score. But this deer is so big, we had to have it scored. And when it came back as number nine or number 10 in trophy game records, and 19 or 20, I believe, in SCI, that's just incredible. Well, we got old black hat number 22, Jimmy Dries, Ricky, of course, and Brooks. Brandon, all of them are top-notch guides. They really understand a while. And if you're wanting a place to go, that's really very important to you because, you know, just getting an opportunity to see them is it different than getting the opportunity to pull the trigger. Hunting University is brought to you by Gamo, Hornady, 1-800-Insurance, and Mid-South Shooter Supply. And don't forget to call us at 888-746-6837 or visit our website at huntinguniversity.com and click on Gear Giveaway to learn more about some special gifts from Hunting University sponsors.
Hey, I got a special thanks for the Wild Ranch, not just for this axis, but for the incredible hunt they put on. I want a special thanks to Misty Job and of course, Black Hat, number 22, world famous Jimmy Drice.